Hey everyone, welcome to a Powertune Digital video on how to import custom tracks and layouts into the lap timer. So this is a new feature we've been working on for quite some time that's now ready to go. So this will let you know how you can go and etch out tracks, forward drive routes, uh, drifting choosers, whatever it might be, and then load them into the lap timer for lap timing and uh, route visibility. Now, there'll be some links in the description below. The two things you're really going to need are Google Earth Pro, as well as a copy of the Powertune Digital Track Creator. Now, Google Earth Pro you can get for free. There'll be a link in the description, but simply jump on google.com, search for Google Earth Pro, and you can download it for free onto any computer. And there'll be a link below, as well as a link on our website to the Track Creator that we've made as well. So when you jump into Google Earth Pro, it's gonna look pretty much like what you see on the screen at the moment. And the first thing we're gonna to need to do is locate the track that we would like to etch out. Now, I'm gonna pick something that's local to me. Uh, so we're gonna go for Archerfield Speedway. So search for your track, Google Earth Pro will do its thing and find the location for you. And we'll see here the Speedway comes up and that lovely drift park is right next to it there. Now, for those playing at home, yes, this is a little bit of an outdated satellite view, so there is a bend that's missing here and a few other things. Um, so yes, you did spot that correctly. This satellite picture is a little bit out of date, but essentially what you should get for most tracks and routes is a relatively modern picture of the track in its current state. Now, all you simply need to do, get a good view of it, get your zoom level, what you're comfortable with, and along the top, there's a row of buttons here. We need to click this middle button that says Add Path. So click on that button there, it's going to bring up a box, and we're going to leave this box on the screen. We're not going to click OK, Cancel, or anything else. So the first thing to do is set the name of the track. So obviously that's going to be Archerfield Drift Park. Now what we need to do is begin etching out the track. Now the start and finish line is going to be defined in the track creator, not in Google Earth. So it doesn't matter where you start and finish clicking. All you simply need to do here is etch out the track. And what that is doing is giving us all the coordinate positions uh, in a file that we can use to import later. So we're going to click here to get our first point. Now on straights, we definitely recommend having as much distance as you can between the two points as that'll give you a nice, good looking, smooth line. However, in the corners, the more data points you can get, the better, as it will allow you uh, to have a much smoother and better looking picture. You don't want to rush this too much, as uh, you want it getting as, as good looking as possible as you can when you import it across, and it is going to be an exact replica copy of the line that you draw here. Now, you don't need to get it absolutely perfect on the first pass here, and I'll show you why that is in just a moment. Again, we want to be keeping as close to the middle of the track as possible. So again, I've just clicked all my way around and for the final dot, if I just click on the first dot, oops, sorry, that didn't quite work. If I click on the, oh, sorry, if you click and hold on the dot and then, and then drag it across, you can then join them together. That one's a little bit too far, so I'm going to do one more. So yeah, click and hold, drag it to the starting dot, and then you'll see it completes the loop. Now, what I'm going to do now is just clean this up a little bit. So you can see here this one, you know, there's a hard via left there as I was just clicking my way through. So you just simply click and hold and then you can drag. So I'm going to make this into more of a, a smoother corner as opposed to, you know, just sort of like sharp lines that have been joined together. As you can see, this one dips down a little bit when it shouldn't really do that. So that should be up there. That's a relatively okay entry. I might just tighten these up and you can click to then add another point in the line as well so you can see there I just click to give myself another data point excellent there we go um, that's a little bit rough so I'm just going to smoothen that out and this is uh, terrible I was clearly rushing a lot at this point And I'm just trying to smooth it out so when it's drawn in the lap timer, it will it will actually look smooth and not be jolty, as you can see. So if you don't clear these, these sort of jolts out, then it will etch that way when you import it across into the lap timer. So just be mindful of that, that you do want to keep the, the line smooth. You want the elevation on the screen is in terms of how up and down the points are to be consistent to make it look good. 
that one there is probably just a little bit. I'm going to add another point there just to really smooth that. So just see adding that extra point really smoothed out a whole lot more. Excellent. Okay, great. So we've now got Archerfield Drift Park. All we need to do now is click OK to save that path. Now on the left hand side, you'll see we have Archerfield Drift Park. We simply need to right click on that. Select save place as in the middle. You get a drop down box that comes up. Make sure you change this to, to be KML. It may default to KMZ. So you must have this set to KML. Uh, set your file name, which should already default to what you've set before. Choose your location where you know where it's going to be and then press save. Now, what you'll find linked in, in the description is a copy of the Powertune Digital Track Creator. So that's this file that you'll be downloading here. So you need to copy it out of the file that it's in. So if I go back one step, you'll see this is a zip file. You need to open the zip file. So you can go right click and open a new window and then drag it out of the zip file so we can access the content inside. Excellent, and you can see now we have the um, Beta 1 Windows. It'll be titled Beta 1 Windows in the file. In fact, I, I may get that updated this evening if I can. Now, what you'll need to do is open this folder and scroll down to the bottom and open up the trackcreator.exe. Now, you'll get this little pop, you may get this little window that pops up here. Just simply click More Info and click Run anyway. Now, as you can see, it loads up to a uh, menu here where we can select the locate the file that we saved before and open it. So I've located the KML file that we downloaded from Google Earth Pro when we saved it and loaded it now into the track creator. And you'll see it's now etched out a copy of the track that I drew. You can use the scroll wheel on your mouse or this slider here if you don't have a scroll wheel to um, zoom in on it. Now I left a couple of these uh, in here so you could see the effect of doing a smooth corner versus not doing a smooth corner. So you can see here this bump that I've, I've left there. These ones weren't so intentional, but this one here I deliberately left there. So you can see if you don't make those adjustments to really get it smooth, when you go to import it here, you will noticeably see those lines. And again, when we mention when you're doing straights, you want to have as few dots as possible. That's to draw the straightest and smoothest line that you can. I kind of rushed through that one a little bit for the purposes of just getting the video done. But as long as you take a bit of time and care when you do this, it's not actually that difficult to get it, a, a, you know, a very good replica of the actual track. Now, once we've loaded it in, what we need to do is set a start and finish line. Now, because this is a looped racetrack, there's obviously only going to be one start and finish line. We're not going to have a start point and a finish point like on a rally or a touge or something like that. So we're going to hit add start and finish. And all we need to do now is click two points on the map to define our start finish line. So if I click the first point here and the second point there, our start line is now finished. Uh, our start finish line is now defined as that green bar. All we need to do now is set the file name in this box here, which is going to be Archerfield uh, Drift Park, not Speedway, and we're going to go Export Track. As soon as you click that button, if we look in the folder here, we'll see we now have a file called Archerfield Drift Park.txt, and that is what we're going to copy over onto the dash that is going to import all of that data that we've captured and make it into a track on the dash itself. And I'll cut to a video now that shows that sequence. Okay, once you have uh, saved the file from the track creator, you need to open up WinSCP on your computer and connect up to the dash. There's instructions for doing that in our user manual, so I'm not going to cover that off now. Once you've connected to the dash in WinSCP, in the base directory, you need to locate the tracks folder. And you can create a new folder here and you can call it pretty much anything you like. You can call it my custom tracks, my tracks, whatever works. All you then simply need to do is create the folder and drag the track file that 
the text file that we created in the track creator folder earlier. So this is not the KML file, this is the text file. We simply drag that across and drop it in the tracks folder to make it available on the dash after the next restart. Now in this section, we're gonna show you how to create the start and finish points on a one-way track. So you can see here, we've loaded in the very famous Akina. So you can imagine that we've already gone into Google Earth. We've already etched out Akina, and this is Marcus's handiwork that you can see in front of you here. And uh, as you can see, after a little bit of practice, you can really get those corners and lines pretty smooth. So all you need to do is click Add Start Finish Line and then select the first two points, and then Add Start Finish Line and select the second uh, point. You can then use the clear button if you would like to change it. And then all you simply need to do again is set your file name, export the track as a text file into the folder, and then we're gonna use WinSCP to copy that into the dash. Now one of the last things to note is that we've developed a feature where users can actually send us their track files. We can add them to a database, which then all users can then download directly onto their dash. All you need to do is scroll across to settings, press the network button, and simply press the update tracks button, which will download all the latest tracks onto your dash for you without you having to do it manually. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.